All right, good morning, guys. So we're going to talk about CDI engines today. That's really good. But in the costume couch, nothing else as, as it seems. Uh, so I don't know shit about CDI engines. So it's a common ray. It's like any fucking petrol engine that is not carbureted more or less you know you have one fuel rail and you have injectors on that fuel rail that's the common rail the diesel operates at quite a different pressure though a normal petrol car is like three three and a half four bars like that and a common rail engine is normally 1600 bars to 2100 or something like that so so it's quite a bit of difference in pressure and that's why a petrol car has a normal electric fuel pump like a Bosch 044 or something equal to that that can handle like six bars and a common rail engine has a high pressure pump and those high pressure pumps are a little bit different in their design, you know, one piston, three pistons, and and whatnot. Uh, normally, on like Mercedes, BMW, Audis, and, and cars like that, that pump is a Bosch pump, and it's called CP1 or CP3 or CP4. And the most common upgrade for for an, uh, for a high pressure pump is the CP3. And the CP3 pump is also in different versions. So there are smaller and bigger versions. And from my knowledge, and as I said, I don't know shit about CDI engines, but from my knowledge, the, uh, the 110 pump is the biggest CP3 pump. So normally like BMW guys, they have, um, they have the CP3 R90. And that's the biggest they can... I don't know, can get, of course they can get a bigger one, but it's like a di direct replacement, it's fairly cheap to buy and you know, so on. So, so that's what they use. And Mercedes has 90 pumps and 110 pumps on their engines. They are L pumps and not R pumps like the BMW, so they turn left instead of right. But other than that, it's, uh, you know, Mercedes is, fortunate that way we are fortunate to choose Mercedes because there are 110 pumps that are a direct replacement there are R110 pumps CP3 R110 pumps as well but on other car makers engines and I don't really know the operation to get them fitted on a BMW we're not going to talk about BMW though we talk about Mercedes and we have the 110 pumps, so it doesn't really fucking matter to us. Uh, so, we have a couple of... I, I was gonna take this in like old CDIs and new CDIs, but you know, we, we have actually a third option. So, let, let's just call it old CDI engines, new CDI engines and V engines. So, so I think that's better for us. So the older CDI engines are OM, of course, for uh, Earl Motor, a diesel engine. So, so the OM, uh, 611, 612, and 613. It's four cylinder, five cylinder, and six cylinder. It's uh, commonly called like 220 CDI, 270 CDI, and uh, 320 CDI. Uh, and they are actually that volume as well. They are 2.2, 2.7, and 3.2 liters. Now people tend to go for the newer CDI engines. And those are 646 OM, of course, 646, 647, and 648. Four cylinder, five cylinder, and six cylinder. Also, Commonly called 220, 217, 320 CDI. Just to make shit a little bit more complicated. But if they are in an old chassis car, 
they are probably 11, 12 or 13. If there are a newer, like 2000 year car, it's probably a 646, 647 or 648. But here's the, the but of today. People always write that they want a 648. And the 648 is what you're gonna use, and 648, whatever. And that hype, I think that hype is a little bit, you know, it's like a product of Facebook. One guy has a 648, and he does something with this, that 648, and everybody thinks that 648 is the engine to go to. It, it's, and it's not. I was going to say that it's like the 603 and the 606, but it's not. The 603 is a two-valve engine. It's, it's a whole other ball game than the 606. The 613 and the 648 are fucking identical engines. You know, straight six, four-valve, common rail. Yeah, all right. So the 613 has a CP1 pump, original. But you can put a CP3 pump on that, you know, it's not rocket science. The 648, yeah, it has a couple of pros. The CP3 uh, L90 pump, original. All right, that's good. The rear sump, yeah, that's good in some applications. And if your application needs a rear sump, it's easy to just buy a 648 for twice or three times the money of a 613. Yeah, however, however, you know, it's like, it's, it, it, the 648 has a couple of pros. Uh, now, as I said, I don't really know that much about CDI and it, that I can really state anything about like injectors. There are different types of injectors. There are solenoid and piezo ejector injectors in, in these engines. The older ones has the uh, solenoid injectors and the new ones has piezo injectors because they are faster. Now I believe that a good mate of mine that knows everything about this that I should probably have talked to before this video converted his 648. To the older style injectors because they were in some perspective better i can't sign any agreement that this is the case but from memory this is what happened so that means that the 613 is a really really good base even injector wise you just have to swap the fucking high pressure pump and you have a cheap, durable, high power common rail engine. So, and you know, I tend to do this in every video that I'll, I want people to get as much value for their dollars as possible. And buying a 606 in the States is really expensive. And you have a really good engine in a 603. You know, if you're not chasing maximum power, it's all right. 648 and 613 is a little bit the same. The 648 is just rising and rising and rising in price because everybody wants a 648. And the 613 costs nothing. You just buy one. And I have two for sales. Or one? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. When this video airs, I probably have none, but it doesn't really fucking matter. So, uh, also two, two things, one thing about the six, the older and the newer common rail engines, the 11, 12 and 13 and 46, 47, 48 engines. The older ones has EDC 15 uh, as, how the fuck do you say that in English? ECU, all right, the fucking ECU. I was gonna say another word, but I don't know that. So the ECU is EDC 15. And the EDC 15 is really, really fucking simple. Now, Mercedes has done their own shit on this, so it's... Yeah, 
it's easy to read and it's easy to write to this and it doesn't contain a quadrillion fucking amounts of maps so it's easy tunable and it's easy to make standalone the 648 46 47 48 has EDC 16 also a Mercedes version of the EDC 16 and a little bit more complicated so if you don't have someone really knowledge knowledgeable around you uh, for easy use it, it might be a problem to run the 648 or, or the new CDI's standalone uh, so so that's the thing that also you know the, the 11, 12, and 13 is really easy to make standalone, it's easy to tune and everything like that. Or you just go to fucking Baldur and you buy a DD. -Y. I I always talk about this, uh, the other engines, the older ones, so it's a DSL1, but this is like DDL1 or something. Yeah, you can hook him up on the website to see everything as a phenomenal ECU for the common rails. So let's keep on talking. Everybody hates the V engines, and I don't get it. You know, it's it's really funny for me because the V6 is fucking three and a half cylinders long. It's this short. Really easy to fit in anything. It's 72 degrees or something like that. So it's not even 90 degrees. You know, you can put it in any fucking chassis. If you have a, a W21, no problem. You know, it fits everything. And it's super mega small and light because it's aluminum. Many broken ones? No! That's the thing. Oh, they break. They don't fucking break. This is like the fucking Audi story with the S4. With the S4s, you know? The 2.7 liter V6 engines that are fucking amazing and everybody, oh, they always break. And it's a fucking lambda sensor or, or a fucking water temperature sensor. It's, it's not a fucking engine. So the V6, the OM642, is a really, really fucking good engine, you know? So why be like everybody else? Is it common rail? Yes, the good high pressure pump, you know, and a turbo and a tune, and you're rocking 400 horsepower. It's perfect. Or the V8s. Now, I heard horror stories about the 400 CDI, the old, old OM628. Yeah, they break and shit like that. I don't know if, it's, if that's true. If it is, it has a newer brother, the OM629. The 420 CDI engines. And everybody loves those engines. They are the best. Why not buy one of those? It's four and a half cylinders long. Yeah. And that's with Mercedes measurements because the bore is 86. The 606 is 87. So one cylinder is the same size. So it's shorter than a 605. It's aluminum, so it weighs nothing. And it's just, Sicaria is coming. So, I think more people should build on the V6 and the V8 engines. So, we, I know we are at 14 minutes, but we have to take this. The inline engines, the 4, 5 and 6 cylinders, 11, 12, 13, 46, 47, 48. They all have 88 millimeter bore and 88.2 three millimeter stroke so they are pretty much a fucking square and this is for all you negative motherfuckers about the 601 2 3 4 5 and 6 oh it's so fucking short stroke fuck you so the high torque 648 is a square fucking engine the 642 the v6 is only 83 millimeter bore so it's a fucking small bore and a 92 millimeter stroke. So that's a long stroke engine. Shorter stroke than the 2.3, 2.9 and 3.5 liter 604, 5 and 6. 
So, hmm, stroke. The V6 and the V8 are both, no, the, I'm sorry. I am sorry. The V6 was the fucking, the V8, both the 400 and 420 CDI. Square, dead on, 86, 86. So I rest my fucking case. Stroke, square engine. Fuck you, is it not a 125cc two stroke engine? So, that's all for today. Stroke does not fucking matter. Square engines is the shit. And we love them. And we love Mercedes. And I need to be sponsored by fucking Mercedes in Stuttgart. I love you all. See you in three days.